In this lecture, we are going to have discussion on some important points related to the current source and to the voltage source. And according to the first point, current source does not have zero voltage across its terminals while providing the fixed current and the voltage across the terminals of a current source depends entirely on the network in which the current source is connected. So for example, here we have a current source providing the current I and it is connected in some network. Then the voltage across the two terminals of the current source will not be equal to zero. So this is all for the first point. Now let's move on to the second point and according to second point in the real time system only independent voltage source exist. So there will be no independent current source or any dependent sources present in a real time system. So this is all for the second point. Let's now discuss the third point which is an important point. According to this point, the independent and dependent sources are handled exactly in the same manner. So whenever you try to analyze a network, this means you try to apply KVL, KCL, etc. on a network, then you will handle both independent and dependent sources exactly in the same manner. But there are some exceptions and the exceptions are superposition theorem, Thevenin's theorem and Norton's theorem. Whenever you try to use these three theorems to simplify your network, you have to deal with independent and dependent sources in different manner. So now I will explain how you have to deal with independent source and how you have to deal with dependent source while using these three theorems. In case of dependent sources whenever you have a dependent source in the network and you are applying either of the three theorems then you have to keep them as it is they will remain as they are you don't have to do anything with the dependent sources but the independent sources will undergo a change and the change is you have to replace the independent sources with their respective internal resistances for example, let's say the independent source you are having is ideal in nature. It is ideal in nature and therefore we know that the ideal independent voltage source has zero internal resistance. This means if you have an ideal voltage source, then we will replace it by its internal resistance which is equal to zero. This means whenever we have an ideal voltage source, we will replace it by short circuit. And when we have the ideal current source, the ideal current source, we will replace it by its internal resistance, which is infinity. This means we will replace it by open circuit. I have already explained the voltage source and the current source and therefore we know about their internal resistances and hence this point is not at all difficult to understand. And this is one point we will use a lot in this course. Therefore remember this point however we are going to solve many examples in which there will be use of this particular process. So now I will end this lecture here see you in the next one.